Tabora region is in the central western part of Tanzania. It is famous for its distinguishable honey and bee products. Tabora region covers 76,151 square kilometers, close to 9% of Tanzania. 46% is forest reserve and 22% is game reserve, offering an ideal habitat for apiculture. Tabora region is home to Honeycare Africa Tanzania Limited, a leading exporter of high quality honey. Established in 2004, Honey Care Africa Tanzania Limited commenced operations with the support of Swiss Contact, the Swiss Development Corporation, SDC, the IFC World Bank and SNV Netherlands to engage traditional honey producers in the central and northern corridors of Tanzania. Honey Care Africa Tanzania has since come a long way. One of the reasons why we focused on Tabora is because the region has a solid history and reputation for producing honey. Our investment in honey production and processing has increased efficiency and improved quality of this organically produced honey. Our mission is to attain high quality standards of apiculture products by providing training in quality handling to beekeepers and by establishing collection centers throughout Tanzania to always pay a fair price to the beekeepers and continue providing the necessary support and equipment. Our mission is buttressed by a clear vision which is to enhance the livelihood of the beekeepers of Tanzania, to globalize Tanzanian honey and to be the most vibrant export company of apiculture products in East Africa. Our company has established collection centers within the catchment area. Farmers have been trained on the demand of the market. These collection centers belong to the community. Today, more and more farmers in Tabora are joining beekeeping since the equipment is basic and the technology easy to comprehend. We established our main center in Tawara primarily to ensure that standards and critical aspects relating to traceability are enforced effectively. Prior to commencement of any beekeeping project, we conduct a preliminary site evaluation of the proposed project site to assess the viability of financing each venture. We pay particular attention to the geographical, climatic and agroecological conditions of the proposed areas as well as other logistical considerations and local conditions. Suitable sites for placing the hives are selected once viability has been verified. It is an established fact that farmers possess beekeeping knowledge. As an organization, we work towards enhancing this knowledge to ensure the quality of the honey remains consistently high. Annually, we strive to bring together farmers from different villages where clear discussions are held on quality. We also provide the beekeepers with airtight buckets. In sensitizing our farmers, one of the most important factors to consider when harvesting and handling honey intended for the retail market is the water content, which we always emphasize must be sufficiently low. Ideally, the water content should be below 18%. In Europe, for example, 20% is the legal maximum for almost all honeys. We are cognizant of the fact that harvesting does not need sophisticated techniques or equipment but beekeepers must be careful and methodical when harvesting and handling honey. We advise them to develop simple monitoring systems to ensure quality is maintained. Our staff is fully trained in handling of bee products. All our equipment complies with national and international standards guaranteed to ensure consistent results always. Our honey processing equipment is hygienic stainless steel. At Honeycare Africa Tanzania Limited, having a hazard analysis critical control point plan is compulsory since it is a guarantee of quality and hygiene. 
Through the use of modern technology, we process our honey to standards demanded by the market. In taking note of the importance of quality throughout the process, all our staff and partners are regularly updated on key issues of standards. We are working towards fair trade certification. This is being hastened by the emergence of the beekeepers union that will ensure that fair trade certification is both at the company level and the union level. Workshops have been conducted to ensure that the process is implemented smoothly. We have participated in varied exhibitions such as the API Expo held in Zambia in 2010 among a host of others. In traversing the globe, we have developed strong linkages with other organizations and clients whom we consider as partners. The Rural Livelihood Development Company, SEF funded by Danida, CBI Netherlands, Africare, WWF Tanzania, Tanzania Private Sector Foundation, and the Ministry of Natural Resources and Tourism. Apitrade Africa has been our partner right from its establishment. Tanzania is unique. The country has a functional beekeeping policy. There are designated areas for beekeeping. These are known as bee reserves. We work with communities to ensure that the environment is conserved. Our efforts have made a profound difference in the villages that we partner with in our catchment area. The lives of beekeepers are changing. They have improved their housing materials from grass thatch to corrugated iron sheets. Beekeeping households are now able to meet considerable day-to-day -day domestic needs. We have been exporting to the EU, USA and other countries for several years. We have modern facilities and systems in place. Uh, we've got our own truck that sits in Tabora uh, last two years. Uh, we've also got a smaller pickup as well. Most of the harvesting is done in the forest reserves. So we also help the beekeepers bring the goods out to their centers. It, in fact, gives us better control because we know this much has been already collected. And then it comes to their center and then our truck picks bring it to our center. Our honey is exported in bulk using 200 liters lacquered coated drums, net weight 300 kilograms. We comply with all the regulations and requirements to export to our export destinations. We are a model producer and exporter for honey and beeswax in East Africa. One challenge we face is that of elevated concentrations of HMF in honey. The stringent regulations of the European Union call for extra certification, which is a costly and lengthy process. We have, however, fully complied with the requirements of the export market. In our dealings with all stakeholders, we have adopted a transparent work approach. This makes our work straightforward, creating a win-win situation. The difference in the villages is very clear with the beekeepers that have been living in the villages. And because of that, the numbers are increasing. So I've had, I can take you to villages where uh, these bee, this beekeepers now have got uh, roofing sheets over their houses. Uh, they've got a radio and whatever. So they've been like really doing well, which has intrigued other people to go into beekeeping. And so that has really helped yeah, and uh, made a difference. You know, uh, I, I've seen bicycles in, in, in villages where they put a flap at the back, you know, that uh, to show, you know, they put, they put a nice flap, and you know, they write these wordings, and I've seen them written, Asante Honeycare, uh, you know, so, yeah, these are the proud moments uh, for us to see that we're making a bit of difference, uh, definitely, no doubt about it.